Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the Old School Game Snob, and today we are looking into some of the most useful Horadric Cube recipes in Diablo 2, as well as some of the uh, less useful ones, but still interesting. Let's jump into this. Let's kick things off with upgrading your unique armor and weapon pieces. Starting out with armor, you can upgrade your normal unique armor piece or your exceptional unique armor piece to its next quality level up. All items in Diablo, well, most items in Diablo, have quality levels. Uh, for example, the Rock Fleece is a field plate, which is the normal variant of this particular type of armor. But if you use Tal and if you use Shale and a perfect diamond inside your Roger Cube, you can transmute that to its exceptional version, and that is the Shark Tooth Armor. The unique stays the same, but as you can see, the defense has gone up. The recipe to upgrade your already exceptional armor, for example, here is Skin of the Viper Magi at 279 armor. That's what it comes with when it drops. And here's the upgraded elite version of Serpent Magi in the Wormhide variant with 970 armor. To upgrade, the recipe is Ko. It is Lem, and it is a perfect diamond. There you go, as you can see. Next up on this list, we have the very same idea, but in this case, we are upgrading a weapon. So our normal unique weapon can be upgraded with Ral, Soul, and a perfect emerald. And you put them in the cube, hit the button, and now you have the exceptional version of that unique weapon. Uh, the same can be applied to an already exceptional weapon, the Atlantine Sword, for our example here, as you can see. Right now, the one hand damage is 63 to 150, so we're just going to upgrade that with Lum, Pull, and we're going to put in a Perfect Emerald as well, upgrade that. As you can see, this is now upgraded to 140 to 175 damage. Nice big damage boof. Boof? I think I wanted to say buff and boost at the same time. So I've made a new word, boof. From now on, that is going to be a word that you're going to hear all the time on this channel. All right, next up on this list, we have the socketing of weapons, armor, and shields. So the recipe to socket an armor piece is Tal, Thal, and a perfect Topaz. Now, when you socket a piece of armor, since the maximum number of sockets that a piece of armor can have is four, what the game will do is roll the dice, a six-sided dice. If you roll one, two, or three sockets, your armor piece will get one, two, or three sockets. Uh, if you roll four on the dice, then your armor piece will get four sockets. Uh, if you roll five or if you roll six, your armor piece will also get its maximum possible four sockets. That's because armor pieces only go up to four and the dice is just a six-sided roll. That's how it works. So basically, what that means is that when you socket a piece of armor, you have a 50% chance of getting a four uh, four open socket piece of armor. Now this in this example, I'm sorry, I don't have a I don't have a piece of armor that is capable of holding four sockets. So I'm just going to show you the recipe and how that works. In this case, I got two. Now it is important to note this applies to armors armors too and and shields as well that this recipe only works on normal items and on ethereal items. It does not work on cracked items or superior items for whatever reason. There you go. Uh, important to keep in mind. Now, for rolling the recipe on a weapon, the equation's a little bit different, although it's also the same. It's still a six-sided dice roll, but in certain cases, some weapons can have up to six sockets. And so if your weapon can have up to six sockets and you're trying to roll four open sockets, uh, you might want to look into a weapon that's only capable of holding four open sockets to make that roll a little bit more likely. If you're trying to roll six sockets, then great, then you have, you know, a one in six chance of achieving that. In this case, the recipe is Ral, Am, and a perfect amethyst. And in my case, uh, yeah, I only have a really low quality item to show you an example, but I think you get the idea, right? Great, next up is the recipe for socketing your shield. This works in the same way as body armor. Also the same rules apply. A normal item, uh, eth item, those are okay. Cracked and superior, not okay. Tal, um, and a perfect ruby. Now again, since the maximum possible sockets in a shield is four on a monarch shield, uh, you would have a one. You would have a 50% chance of rolling those four open sockets because again, we roll that six-sided dice. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, tell, um, and perfect ruby. There we go. 
And by the way, if you happen to find a cracked item that you want to be able to put sockets in, here's a little recipe that can upgrade your cracked item into a, a normal item. Uh, Eld plus any chipped gem and a your cracked item. Now, this is not a cracked item, so I can't really show you an example. And you've noticed we've jumped over into Diablo Resurrected. Well, that's just because I happen to have those particular things to show you in Diablo Resurrected. And I don't have the other things to show you in Diablo Resurrected. Now, I'm going to be working my hardest to acquire all these things so I can make, you know, more pretty looking video. But in the meantime, I just don't have the goods to show you yet in Diablo Resurrected. Hopefully soon, once I'm done making this video, I'm going to be playing the heck out of some Diablo Resurrected. So, yeah, coming up. It's all coming up. And oops, the recipe I showed you was to fix your cracked weapon. Uh, the recipe to fix your cracked armor is a little different. Instead of Eld, we have L. And also, again, any chip gem. And your uh, cracked armor. Again, I'm sorry I don't have cracked armor to show you. I wish I did, uh, but I don't. Next up, we have a useful recipe for removing runes, gems, and whatnot from your armor or your weapon or whatever you want to remove it from. Take a hell rune, take a scroll of town portal, put in the item that you want to have the socketed piece removed from, and, uh, and there you go. The unfortunate downside to this is that whatever was socketed will be destroyed, but you will have your socket open up again. Here's a handy recipe if you have high level rune words such as Chains of Honor where it can cost half a million, upward to a million gold to repair your items, that's astronomical. I can't afford that, I gotta save my money for gambling. So here's an alternative. The Ort rune plus, your, plus a weapon that you wanna repair will fully repair your weapon. Uh, the Ral rune plus an armor piece that you wanna repair will fully repair that piece of armor. That can save you lots and lots of gold pieces. There are, of course, many crafting recipes that you can use your Horadric cube for. I have created a whole guide on crafting, so check out that guide for more details on that. And of course, three of any of the lower runes will make a rune one level higher. For mid and high runes, the recipe changes a little bit. Three of the kind of rune that you're wishing to upgrade into the next rune higher, and a chipped gem of varying variety. Uh, that changes a little bit as you get higher and higher to a flawed gem, and higher and higher still as you get into the higher runes. Of course, only two runes are required later on to upgrade to the next rune type. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that about covers it.